Okay, so this clutch that I have here is somewhere else. And we've decided that these are June Blake. Yeah, they're getting quite clumpy there. So and they're time, getting clumpy, time so... To divide. They're, they're competing against each other. And when they compete against each other, they can die. They can the... get tired out a little bit. They need to be divided every three years or so for optimum. Okay. Um, and it depends on the variety. Some varieties are tougher than others. In okay. the case of June Blake, it really grows well as a foliage, but there's a bit of stuff going on here. Maybe there's an issue with the soil. The soil could be uh, getting contaminated by itself. Well, it also could be, this is this door used to lead to the coal hole when ah. we had coal, so there could ah. be old ah. coal ah. dust There's something going on here, here anyway, yeah. because it's not just the primroses having a bit of stress issues. This guy here, is it a poppy or something? Yeah, it's a poppy. Yeah. Look at the... Chlorinate, and the, the yellow the yellowing yeah. this kind the of in the leaf, yeah. yeah yeah so there's deficiencies going on in this corner and that's interesting yeah that that's was the coal hole cold. as it was called well now you can't blame the plants because they don't like coal so. <laughs> and you know the, you know when when you're when you're when you're using your ashes from your fire yeah you don't use the ashes that the coal coal or turf or turf you just use the you wood just use the wood so yeah now you get your lesson in in horticultural science. soil. Horticultural science. Then this one this you were one is, saying, it was now that is clatter. The coal, now everything makes sense again. Okay. So these, there's chlorosis, but the way the clatter is exhibiting, it's this chlorosis. Is a, this is clatter. Yeah, it's clatter, but the way it's exhibiting its chlorosis is it's a dodgy looking color in, in these leaves here. Okay. So that is actually how a dark leafed primrose exhibits chlorosis. So now Interesting. I've got okay. That, so they're not. They're not, they're not dying, but they're not very happy where they are. They're not happy. No. So you need to, um, yeah, either move them move or them improve the or soil improve in the, some way. Their conditions. Now, yeah. well, I'll probably move them and just dig the soil over but, and improve it. Now, I don't know. Does it work in this instance? But charcoal, digging in charcoal or things like that sometimes deactivates some chemicals in the soil, but the usual. 100% best solution is to remove maybe 50% of the soil and put in 50% new soil and mix it up. You will reduce the contamination then. But coal contaminates. That's yeah, no, well, I know coal secret. contaminates. Yeah. So I was just wondering why this yeah, wasn't doing so well. That you, so that probably the coal hole where all yeah. the coal used to be. For decades and the dust surely got out there oh i'm sure yeah. that uh, there were occasions when it would be cleaned out and yeah, there would be yeah. turf and coal dust would yeah, be pile yeah, up well, there there's an interesting one for you there we go you learn something new every, every day, day. <laughs>